What's up everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Sacred Gold All-Stars. Here we are in the Pokemon League, about to take on the Elite Force. Let's go through one more time and have a look at our team. Of course, first we've got Yegdip, the Pidgeot. I don't know when we met him exactly, I guess Route 29. All the way back in the beginning of our adventure. Um, it's not really the best, but uh, he's got decent attack, I guess. I don't know, those are his moves. Um, Gogglehead, on the other hand, though, is a massive attacker here. I don't know how, but he actually ended up getting a nature that boosts attack and lowers special defense. It's actually something... I'm pretty sure that's one of the best natures you can get on this thing. Not sure what it is. Let, I'm trying to learn my nature, so naughty nature, boosts attack, lowers special defense. Alright, so next up we've got Raichu. I have uh, the choice specs on him, I'm pretty sure, so... Surf and Thunderbolt will be doing some pretty good stuff. But yeah, he's got pretty much, or wow, exactly the same special and normal attack. So I guess he's pretty useful in both aspects. Fabi, of course, also has a really good nature, which boosts special attack and lowers defense. That's mild, I guess. I don't know. I guess uh, as X and Y comes out, I'm trying to make an effort to maybe do some competitive stuff. Because I've never been good at it. Uh, next up, we've got Finn. He's, uh, he's pretty good. I gave him Stone Edge, actually. That's a little bit of a new thing on him. And he also learned Earthquake at level 52. Oh, by the way, uh, Gogglehead also has Earthquake now. Um, but finally, we've got Darwin, and he's a special attacker, but... Oh, well, actually, I thought he was boosting attack, but no. It's kind of weird. This generation has, actually, it shows you in the stats what's boosted and what's not. So, bold, boost defense, and lowers attack. All right, anyway, I gave her, or him, actually, hidden power. I'm not sure what type it is, but... We'll figure it out as we go. Anyway, we're ready to take on the Elite Four, so let's go. Once you enter this door, you will be facing the Elite Four. They are really tough. You cannot exit once you enter. The Pokemon helpers aside will let you move as you please through the room, but you must defeat all of the Elite Four to champion the, the challenge the champion. Anyway, be courageous and go for it. All right, so here we go. First up, we've got Will. I don't know what he said about... Oh, all right, there's something. Ah, ha, ha. Hey, there's the Kadabra! Kazaa! The Kadabra is offering to teleport you. Which room would you like to go to? Oh, okay, so I guess this is kind of like black and white, where you can move through the Elite Four rooms as you want. Uh, I don't really know. I'm just gonna go ahead and fight Will. I know that he's a Psychic-type trainer, so I'm expecting a Psychic-type up first. So I'm gonna go for Gogglehead, since he's got that crunch going, and hopefully that helps us out here. So, allow me to introduce myself. I am Will. I have trained all around the world, making my Psychic-type Pokémon powerful, and at last I have been accepted into the Elite Four. I can only keep getting better. Losing is not an option! Alright, so here we go! Let's face Will. I'm just gonna do all of these on the same video because... I don't know, we don't- we're, we're kinda short on time here. There's about two days left until X and Y, and I'm just super excited. I probably won't play any other Pokémon games when that comes out for a good while, so... Yeah. Oh, that it was not a good idea. Hey, Jinx. Wow, this... Uh, okay, so Gogglehead up first. Not my brightest idea. That is absolutely going to be a one-hit kill there. So, uh... Alright! It's kind of unfortunate that we have to bring out Fabi so early in this, but... I'm sorry, Jinx. You, your face is just too ugly for me, girl. Alright, Lunatone up next. Um, I think Fabi can actually also deal with that. Especially since now I've put up the stupid drought so yeah that's oh wow it's got earth power but yeah since i put up the dumb drought thing now i can't use finn so well i can use him he just won't do as much damage with surf which uh kind of puts away a big part of what uh finn is all right so next up we got Slowbro. let's go for raichu just so we can go for that super duper thunderbolt power why isn't this a slow king that's kind of weird why would you opt to use a slow bro instead of slow king are they like different stats? I, I actually have no idea about that one. You know what? We're learning. We're, we're, we're moving along. We're learning. I'm actually really bad. I don't know. Sometimes I feel bad just because I don't know that much about stuff. But, but at the same time, I think to myself, you know, somehow I still manage to beat every game. I might not be very good at uh, battling competitively, but that can be something for another time. I don't know why I just used Roost on accident there. Oh, well. Uh, you know, Gogglehead would be pretty helpful right now. Ah, okay, so I see I see what I see what you're doing here, Gardevoir, and I'm not liking it. So I actually stocked up on items. Um, I bought a bunch of revives and potions and stuff, so we're gonna take out this this elite four. It shouldn't be too tough, honestly, at least because we can revive and stuff now. Alright, I spoke too soon. Finn, how about you get out there and show him your earthquaking powers that you just learned? Hopefully this kills it. 
Alright, it had a reflect up, so I wasn't really sure. Unless it went down. Final Pokemon is gonna be Zatu, which means another thing for Raichu to just kinda <clears throat> use his bolt of lightning. And there we go. Goes down in one hit. Not too bad, not too bad. Pretty much the only tough thing about that was the fact that Gogglehead just kinda died from one hit to Ice Beam. Probably not not my best idea to put Gogglehead up first. But uh, hey, I was just kind of expecting him to crunch away the competition. Oh wow, Yegdip also died. Alright, so let me actually just count how many deaths we have during this Elite Four because I... I don't know, man. Huh, I don't know why I keep thinking back to myself. What if this was still Nuzlocke? I guess it's just mainly because that's the way it started. And I just kind of wanted to finish this off just to not leave it, I guess, in, a, in an awkward point. But uh, I guess we get to choose where, where we go to next. So I'm going to choose... The ghost type lady. I'm pretty sure she's the last room, so we're gonna go there. Weird noises. Alright. I am Karen of the Elite Four. Your Mosif, how amusing. I love dark type. Oh, oh, you're dark type. I thought you were ghost type for some reason. I guess that's your grandma, maybe? No, think you can take him? Just try to entertain me. Let's go! Alright, well, we're taking on Karen next, I guess. She's a dark type. I always thought she was a ghost type. I, I don't know. Oh well, oh, I guess it's just because Agatha, is Agatha really a ghost type trainer though? I mean, she's got like really weird stuff sometimes. Doesn't she have like a venom moth or something? Or is that... Uh, I think that's Koga in this game at least, but yeah. I guess, alright, Agatha's ghost type, let's just say Karen has always been dark type just because I don't remember. And Mightyena does not go down in two hits, but fortunately we have... Um, I don't know what we have. At oh, that is a nice critical hit, man. Isn't it weird? I don't know if this is just me, but it seems like every time I go for like... Ah, swag me up, man. That's alright with me. I still get my Ice Beam off. And, alright, one hit kill. Awesome. But it seems to me every time, um... A Pokemon, I get it down to red HP, and then I basically go for like... The next move, it always seems to like one-shot for them, for, for me. Or like, get a critical hit more often. Is that purely coincidence, or is that an actual thing? Like, after a Pokemon heals up, does it die in one hit i don't i don't know man is it does it like boost the fact of a critical hit or the chances of one i don't know it just seems like every time you know someone gets low then the trainer will heal him up with a uh, full restore or whatever and then the move right after i'll get a critical hit it's happened so many times i i don't know maybe that's just me spirit tomb hey specter i remember you you were on our team for a little while i guess now you're on karen's team she stole you from her pc from our pc i mean but, uh, you know what? I've got the trump card for you. It's called Fabby, buddy. You might have no weakness, but everybody is weak to Fabby deep down in their hearts. Last Pokemon is gonna be Absol- or wait, I guess it's not the last one. We're gonna go for some close combat action, though. And we'll see if this is actually a one-hit kill. Absol- I don't know, man. You always, uh, you need, you need a little love, man. And you actually do get a little love in the upcoming gen, so that's fine with me. Uh, actually, it wasn't a one-hit kill, so that kind of sucks. I'm pretty sure she's gonna heal up here. Never mind, just going for that psycho cut. So we take you out and see you later, Absol. I guess she's still got one more Pokemon, and it is Umbreon. So I'm gonna go for Raichu, actually. I know that Umbreon is a giant special wall, so we can't go for any really big special moves. Um, Raichu is pretty tied as far as special and physical attack, so Volt Tackle should do a good amount of damage. We're just not really making use of our choice scarf. Do we have the scarf, actually? I don't remember if we have the scarf or like specs. Which one do we have? Let me see. Because if we have Scarf, it's fine. Um, oh, we have Specs. Okay, so... Yeah, uh, Volt Tackle doesn't really make use of that. Um, I don't know. I'm just going to keep going for Volt Tackles, though. And we'll probably take it out eventually, unless it goes for a heal up here. Toxic me, man. That is... Ah. Alright, so she is going for the Forest Door. I'm probably going to... Oh, wow. Did we really just miss that? Like, what? what is going on, man? Raichu, you gotta hit your Volt Tackles or we ain't gonna be able to take out the Elite Fours he is, man. What is, what is this voice that I'm doing? I don't, I don't even... I don't even... Um, Alright, that's too many double teams for my liking, so I'm actually just gonna... Huh. I could actually just Full Restore Yeg Dip. Ah, oh, man, this kind of sucks, actually. Let's keep going for Volt Tackles. It is using a lot of double teams, though, so... We might be in a little bit of trouble, but we do hit the last Volt Tackle, so we take it out. No big deal. Thank you, Karen, for the wonderful battle. That is only selfish perception of trainers truly skilled to try to dig out. You understand what's important. Keep moving. The champ is waiting. Indeed he is. So we're going to heal up once again. And 
Yeah, I guess, uh, wow, no one died that battle. That's kind of surprising, but... Uh, we have still two more Elite Four members and then the Champion, which I'm pretty sure should still be Lance, but you never know with this Sacred Gold, man. They always switch things up. I mean, I didn't even know Karen was uh, Dark-type, so who knows what else I won't remember. Watch Lance just be like a like a weirdo with like Steel-types for some reason. Or the Champion just be like Wallace. That would be kind of cool. Uh, not really, actually. It would be cool, but at the same time, it wouldn't really... You know, why, why would Wallace be here? Of all places well you know what let's not think about this I, I think uh, I was thinking back to like I don't think Wallace would have been like existing at this time but he definitely would have because I think first and third generation take place at the same time and then second gen which is this one it is three three years after or something I don't know let's talk to Koga next I guess I am Koga the elite four I live in shadows a ninja my intricate style will confound and destroy you confusion sleep poison Prepare to be the victim of my sinister techniques. Fwa ha ha Yeah, let's battle Koga. That was uh, that was a little weird. Hey, oh, there he is. I didn't, I didn't see you there, cause you're a ninja. He lurks in the shadows, and then he's just like, Whoa ha! Here I am. You kind of thought I disappeared for a second, but I didn't. I was just lurking the shadows, and then I popped up, and you were there, and uh, you surprised me, and I surprised. Oh. Man, I thought that would be a one-hit kill. <coughs> Sorry, I thought that would be a one-hit kill for sure. You know, I really hope I'm not getting sick. I kind of went out in the rain yesterday, and that would not be a good thing to get sick at this time. Probably one of the bad times to get sick. All right, well, you know, this one is a one-hit kill because Crunch last time got a defense drop, but I don't think that usually happens. Usually, we get a critical hit right after, not just, like, a defense drop, but... Yeah, it would be a pretty bad time to get sick with X and Y coming out and just, uh, it's not, not be a good idea to get sick right now. So please, don't get sick munching bros, 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 sure, why not? <clears throat> munching bro is what I meant to say, but, oh well, we're munching bros now. So that's my favorite thing to munch, apparently. You know what? I really have no idea if my username, oh, that was not the right move that, oh... Well, okay, now we just have to switch out there. That was kind of awkward. We just kind of stared at each other. We're like, all right, you use your heat wave. I'll just go ahead and use a move that doesn't affect you. And then we'll just back off of each other and we won't think about it anymore. Yeah, what I was saying was, I a lot of people have been wondering, or I guess for a long time this has been a question, is like whether my username means I'm munching oranges, I guess, or if I'm an orange that munches things. I, I don't know. It's, it's kind of weird. I've never thought about it. When I came up with the username, I was like, I wasn't 12, I was, uh, I don't know how old I was, actually. Let's go for Finn on this Toxic Crow, because I could go for, uh, Gogglehead and go for Earthquake, but I feel like Finn needs some help, or not some help, but some levels, some experience here, so we're gonna go for him. Uh, but yeah, when I made my username, I really didn't think about it, I just kind of made it, and I'm like, hey, this is my username now. Um, I guess it's alright, I don't know. <laughs> There's a lot of people that have usernames with, like, X's and... A lot of numbers in their names. I don't know. I find those usernames to be not the best, but at least my username, I guess, doesn't have any of that. So my 14-year-old self somehow thought to himself, you know what? I'm not gonna have any weird numbers or XXs in my name, because that's lame, apparently. I don't know. I think it's really lame. It's just like, at least numbers is the thing that I don't like in usernames, well, like just in random, in general. I know a lot of people have X's in their names. I guess that's not as bad, but. I don't know. This is kind of stuff that you do when you're younger, and then you realize later on, this was uh, not my greatest idea. Much like getting a tattoo of anything and then regretting it later on in life. Well, not really anything. There's lots of people that get tattoos and don't regret them, but I'm one of the former where I would probably get a tattoo and then regret it when I'm like 60 and it's sagging and all ugly and stuff. I don't know. I don't even know what I would get a tattoo of. like. I, have, I really have no idea. What if I just get an orange, like, on my belly, and then I turn 60, and then that orange becomes a, a little sagging orange ball? I, I don't know what it would look like. I guess like, an, like a balloon just deflating. All right, that's, that's just weird. But yeah, I'd probably be the person that would regret getting a tattoo later on. I don't know how I transitioned from that or to that from talking about my username. I guess because I started talking about just other usernames, but... You know what? Let's just focus on Bruno here. He's the last Elite Four member. He is a fighting type guy, I think. 
uh, he might have an Onyx or a Steelix though, so... You know what, I really don't want to leave with Fabi, just because Drought would kind of screw us over at some point, so... Hey, I'm Bruno of the Elite Four! I always train to the extreme because I believe in our potential! This is how we become strong! Can you withstand our power? Huh, I see no fear in you. You look determined, perfect for battle. Ready? You will bow down to your overwhelming power. Hoo-ha! Alright, last Elite Four member, Bruno! And we're taking him on. As I said, uh, he usually has fighting types, but I don't know what he leads off with, and it's a Hitmon top, so I can't say we made the right choice, but we also didn't make the wrong choice here. Well, let's for fake out anyway, so, wow, we're actually faster. Why are, like, fighting types just so slow all the time? It's weird. It's like, oh, wow, nice job missing that high jump kick. High jump kick is always one of those moves where I'm like, why would you use this? It's like, you're gonna, if you miss, you're just gonna hit yourself, and... It's worse than confusion, and you just- you're gonna die, man. Alright, well, I don't know. I get- ah, oh, wow. Fly. Fly is like the perfect counter to freaking high jump kick, man. Wow, we actually even dodge out the blaze kick. Oh my gosh, Yegdip is doing some work right now, man. Yegdip, you are just awesome. Like, we literally- we can fly out the high jump kick. Oh no. Oh no. He's gonna go for the focus punch, isn't he? And that- alright. Alright, I was really hoping he wouldn't go for another sub, but hey, he takes us out anyway. But yeah, Fly is like the perfect counter to high jump kick, because you like, especially if like they're, I guess, slower? Yeah, so if they're slower, you, you literally fly up in the air, then they go for high jump kick and they will always miss it. I think they should make like high jump kick just hit flying Pokemon, that's, or Pokemon that use Fly. Well, that would really make sense. Alright, Raichu, stay in there and go for your super duper Thunderbolts. I'm pretty sure you're going to be able to do enough damage to kill. Alright, never mind. Not a good idea. Fabby, it's your turn to shine. Get it? Because he's got the drought, so he shines. Yeah, but, yeah. It's like high jump kick. It should be able to just high jump all the way to the sky, man. That, well, that would be a pretty... Actually, that I don't know if that would make sense, but... Hey, it's Pokemon. It doesn't have to make sense. It's all about having fun. Fighting types being super freaking strong and apparently one shot killing most of my Pokemon, except for Fabi, because she's still awesome. Last Pokemon for Bruno is gonna be Lucario, which, alright, he's faster, so I was kind of hoping for a clean sweep with Flamethrower there, but Lucario had extreme speed, so there we go. Finally take him out. Four Pokemon died in that Bruno battle, man. Mostly because I don't know, I'm just playing it careless at this point, but yeah. We beat him. We beat Bruno. How could we lose? I don't know, man. Maybe it's your ponytail. You probably should have just shaved bald. Maybe gotten, you know, the little Justin Bieber haircut. Whatever he's got now. Not the bowl that he used to have. Or, like, the mushroom head. Coconut head. Coconut head was pretty good, man. But, uh, you know, the, the one that he's got now. I don't know what to call it. It's, uh, it's like a weird shaved on the sides and, like, sticking up like a crayon at the top. Not really like a crayon. That would be, like, the, the flat top, I guess. I don't know. It's not really a crayon, it's more like, like, uh, I don't know if you guys have ever eaten that candy where it's like a gel that you push out and then it, it like, silly hair comes out. I don't know what it's called, but it's like, it's like a weird candy. I guess it was supposed to be like a crayon or, I don't know, you push it out and some like gel candy comes out and it looks like silly hair. That is Justin Bieber's haircut, sort of, kind of. Alright, anyway, I healed up everyone, so we are ready to take on the champion. However, that is gonna be for next episode, so, um... Actually, I have no idea. How do we go to the champion? How do we... Hello? Alright, well, I guess we'll figure it out. So, thank you all for watching, and see you guys next time.